Hello, my name is Cyril, and today I want to welcome you to a show where the only thing that matters is a right answer. Over the next few weeks, I'm going to quiz my buddy and Defunct Games cohort, Lauren Risley, to see how much he knows about random game-related topics. In honor of the 91st Academy Awards, I thought it might be fun to see how much Lorne knows about award-winning movies. Yeah, this is probably the most obscure episode of the season, but I promise you that it's going to be fun. Actually, I can't guarantee that. Just, just start the quiz. Oh, I see you have your own podium. I guess that makes sense. So, Lorne, do you want to play a game? I'd love to. Yeah, that's the kind of enthusiasm I've come to expect from you, Lorne. And as you already know, I want to get to know more about you. In fact, I think we all want to know more about you, Lorne. And I think we can all agree that the best way to do that is to ask you a bunch <laughs> of stupid questions about old games. So let me ask you, do you know much about point-and-click adventure games? Not overly familiar, I'm afraid to say. Can you name even one point-and-click adventure game? The McDonald's order menu? Oh no! Oh no! <laughs> oh folks, maybe we should skip this episode. <laughs> no, 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 like, did you ever play Monkey Island or Maniac Mansion or uh, Sam and Max? I'm afraid I've not played any of those games, no. Have you uh, ever heard of those games before just a second ago? A few of them, yes, yes. I know that they're they're the pinnacles of their genre. Well, one of them is anyway. Sure. Yeah. No, they're all great games. Okay. Well, in this case, for this episode, I think you're actually going to learn something about me because for this episode, I'm going to list 18 names, and you're going to tell me if they're either a point-and-click adventure game or part of the Criterion Collection. Lauren, are you familiar with the Criterion Collection? <laughs> Do you know what that is? Um, it, it, isn't that like a collection, like, like limes and lemons and stuff? Oh, no, you don't know me at all. Okay, so here's a glimpse inside my life. I don't collect many things, but the one collection I've been working on has been the Criterion Collection. This is a company made up of film scholars and historians who select movies from all around the world and give them the special edition treatment. Tons of extra features, interviews, commentary, student films, you name it. Look, I'm a huge film snob. I'm the kind of guy who spends a lot of time watching and talking about old foreign films, so I've been going out of my way to complete the collection. They're up to around 960 right now, and I own about 400 of them. Not even half, but I'm getting there. At this point, it's probably the only collection I take seriously, and maybe one day I'll catch up. You've made some decent progress there. Definitely. So the reason I bring all this up is because the Oscars are this weekend, and there are a lot of Criterion picks that took home statues in years past. I'm talking about Silence of the Lambs, Rebecca, Midnight Cowboy, Rosemary's Baby, Tootsie, Eight and a Half, Topsy Turvy, and it's a mad, mad, mad world. Yes, I hijacked this quiz to talk about my love for the Criterion Collection. Nope, I'm not going to apologize. So let's see how well you know your point-and-click adventure games or Criterion Collection movies. Okay. I'm not, uh, I'm not expecting this to go well. I'm not brimming with confidence either. We'll see what happens. All right. Oh, boy. Oh, dear. <laughs> Rules of the game. Point-and-click adventure game or Criterion Collection? Point-and-click. Criterion Collection. <sighs> mean Streets. Criterion. No, adventure. You see, it, it is a movie. It's a Martin Scorsese movie, but it's not in the Criterion Collection. Mm. I tricked you. Lure of the Temptress. Point and click. Yes. Yes. The Passion of Joan of Arc. Criterion? Yes. It's a classic. The Black Cauldron. Criterion. No, adventure. Murder on the Mississippi. Criterion. No, point really? and click adventure. Throne of Blood. It has to be point and click. No, Criterion. Wow. The Vanishing. Criterion. Correct. There we go. Time Quest. Point and click. Correct. 
Legend of Robin Hood. Point and click. Correct! Yes. You didn't fall for my bait. <laughs> the most dangerous game. Criterion. Correct! By the way, do you know what the most dangerous game is? Uh, the, the Sneak King? No, it's humans. Blood for Dracula. Criterion. Correct! It's a Andy Warhol movie. Rise of the Dragon. Point and click. Correct! The Beast Within. Point and click. Yes, correct! Yes. The Killer. Criterion. Ah, oh, correct! You're on a roll now. Blade Runner. Point and click. Correct! Oh my goodness! You didn't fall for that one. Time Bandits! Uh, point and click. No! Ah. Criterion Collection. Early Terry Gilliam. And finally, the element of crime. Criterion. Correct. Lars von Trier movie. How well do you think you did on that one? Uh, hit and miss on that one. Hit and miss. Yeah, difficult got, to... Got 12 out of, uh, out of 18. That's yeah, pretty good. Difficult to navigate some of those, because uh, they, they, again, one of those things where they, they you've done a very good job in, uh, in confusing me, in playing these little games. Very well done. Very well done. But yeah, otherwise, yeah, not too bad. Not too bad. All right. Well, let's see what we learned about you today, Lorne. Okay, you neither point nor click unless it's at McDonald's. You seem to confuse old and influential films with produce. And you have no idea that you, sir, are the most dangerous game. I'll just let that sink in. Anyway, I think you're underselling yourself, Lorne. You only missed six, which is a new record. I hope that got you in the mood to play some old point-and-click adventure games, or at least watch some classic films. I know it got me ready for the Oscars, so get out of here. I need to set up the viewing party. I'll see you next week for another quiz. Hey, thanks for taking our quiz. If you liked what you saw here, then you should know that we post new quizzes every Friday. So here's the question I have for you. What adventure game should be turned into a movie? Also, in this scenario, just try to pretend that video game movies are actually good and this one has the potential to be up for an Oscar. Yeah, I know that's an alternate reality that's almost impossible to fathom, but do your best. In other news, the weekend is upon us, but I have a big update video planned along with reviews of Toe Jam and Earl 4 and Awesome P. So I strongly recommend you click that subscribe button and support what we're doing here. Until then, 